Hello everyone, I'm Gav from Asman 74 back again today. Welcome to the Hall of Mirrors. Ooh, okay, we're not looking at the Hall of Mirrors today. We're actually doing an alternative Valve Hammer tutorial. This time we're looking into the Source Shade. No, I'm sure. Where's the model converter? There it is. By Nick9. Requested for. Well, requested by a viewer. And um, I'll leave a bit of text on the screen right now so you know who it is that requested this tutorial. Obviously, I don't know Russian, so I'm assuming this top part is the same as this bottom half here. So if I just uh, full screen this, I can make the text a bit bigger, I guess. Just zoom in a bit. I think that's how you do it. Control plus. Blah, blah. There we go. So hopefully you can see this. But basically, the model converter is a command line tool so there's no graphic interface for this and it essentially allows you to you know convert half-life 2 beta models circa 2003 into source 2007 source 2013 source games so for example half-life 2 or source sdk based 2013 for example so quite simply all you do is you have to take the application and put it into the bin folder of any source 2013 games so I've already done this for the Source SDK 2013 single player base. So if I just go to my PC here, then you just have to navigate to your Steam Steam apps, common Source SDK base 2013 single player bin. And in here, you can see there is the model converter. So one of the things we're going to do is just select the path, Control C to copy it. And we're just going to go CMD for the command prompt. So as you can see, I've kind of already uh, made this big. And then we're just going to go CD, which means change directory and paste in the path. That way we go to our bin folder. And then simply just want to put in MDL converter. Now, of course, it's going to come up with an error saying that you don't have a game. But, you know, that's just to know that you're pointing to the right thing. So if we go back to the readme, it gives us an example of how to do this. So MDL converter dash game is the path where the game info dot text file is. So in this case, we go dash game and in speech marks and make sure you go left and right, not up and down in the command prompt. Uh, that's a very easy mistake to make. And then everything you typed in just gets, you know, undone. But I'm going to go into my Air Exchange Retail base folder where all the magic has been sort of happen, you know, conspiring to make Air Exchange Retail, which hasn't actually released yet. And I do want to release it, but um, we're just going to paste that path into there. And then in another set of speech marks, not exclamation marks, um, we're going to paste in the path and then, of course, the model in question. So we're going to go to program files, x86, and then hl2, hl2 models. And then you have a wide variety of different models that you can look into. So let's start off with a relatively simple example, I hope. And of course, we can go into any of these folders and dig something out. So let's say, I don't know. Uh, the air exchange, why not? Air vent 01. So we're going to just select this, copy the path, paste it into here, and then backslash, and then which one we're going to use? Air vent 01. Dot MDL. You've got to specify the dot MDL as well. So the essential is model converter dash game path to your mod, essentially. And then in another set of speech marks, it's the model in question. So if I hit enter on this, then you see it just goes straight through and creates the VTX stuff for the model. And so as you see, it loads version 37 and um, just goes through. And I think because of this model already exists in Exchange Retail, uh, you'd get a notification about textures that don't exist. That gives you an idea of the textures you need to copy from the beta into uh, your mod. So that helps as well instead of loading up the model and trying to figure out what textures you need that way. But essentially, if I go to my Air Exchange Retail Mod Base folder, which is, again, this is the really inefficient way of doing it. But we go Models, Props, AirX, and AirVent01 here, 8.49pm, that was just made. And so in theory, if I actually had Visual Studio open, I'll just boot up Air Exchange Retail and the AirVent01 model should be there with 
textures in the correct place and it looking just like the beta model. So that is a relatively simple example of a static prop. Now, of course, there's a complicated example that's provided, which may not make much sense to you when you look at it. But um, there's these different parameters like act edit here or event edit or event option edit switches. Uh, these need to be go. Well, they need to be put in before dash game. So dash game is the last thing you have to put in. But after MGL converter, if you have say the combine soldier, then you'd probably want to use act edit to change act combine standing SMG one, which is beta code two act range attack SMG one, which is in retail. So again, if I had Visual Studio, I'd probably have say the beta combine soldier code up the side with the retail combine soldier code and just compare and contrast the differences between these different acts and just change say the combine standing to range attack smg1 and you can have a little glimpse of that here i guess so if i go up then i guess it's just models and then it's combine soldier.mdl and it makes sure we go left as well uh, not up and then it's just after my mdl converter let's put in act edit so you, you not yeah whatever that is um, but then when you get to this point at the very bottom it says um, act invalid to clear existing activity so idle one is act idle so you want to keep that because act idle is something that is in the code act range aim ar2 low act idle angry cower crouch idle yeah, so some of this stuff is already in the retail code, so you don't actually want to change it. And of course, you have to hit enter every single time. But then you get to this bit where it's shoot SMG one S and it's act combine standing SMG one. So you would put in the act, which is stated over here, which is just act range attack SMG one. I'm not going to put it in here, but basically it's just going to go through all of the different acts for the combine soldier. And then you just have to put in suitable actions, I guess. And I guess if there's events or event edits as well, then you'd do the same thing. And of course, because, you know, there's so much you got to go through, you'll just do nothing. And that's what that looks like. Um, so that gives you, and there's another thing as well for human models, which is what we have here. You also have to put in add forward attachment to basically uh, allow head rotation to work so for the combine soldier you'd also have to put add forward attachment alongside say act edit and obviously putting that before dash game to make sure it all goes okay so again i've not really got much working with event edit or event option edit um, it's supposed to be for as i said events but again or animation event names and options again I don't know much about this. All I know is the basic usage, which is essentially model converter, then any parameters you want to pass through, like add for detachment, act edit, then dash game is to your mod path, and then that's where your game info.txt is going to be. And then in a second set of speech marks, you put in your Half Life 2 beta path and the model in question. You're going to be told about missing textures. Let's do an example so you see what I'm talking about. Something from the Half-Life 2 beta that's not going to be in Air Exchange Retail. So let's just pick a random example like that. A animal. Look at that animal right there. In all caps as well. So if we just uh, go back here, go up, up, and um, let's just type in animal.ndl. See, so you just saw a bunch of orange there or yellow. Models conscript, not found. Weapons WAR2, not found. So this tells you all of the materials for this model, where they are from Half-Life 2 beta that you need to copy into your mod for the model to actually look, yeah, look as it's supposed to and not have purple and black checkerboard textures and all that shit, right? We don't want that. But this is um, the gist of what you have to do. It tells you about, you know, vertices and eyeballs and stuff like that all that glorious goodness so hopefully you found this helpful um, this is as i said earlier in response to someone who requested that i look into this hopefully you can look at this and it helps 
Again, I'm no expert with this, so if there's any problems, then I can always try and look into it on my end. And the worst part is I've not even checked to see if any of these work. So a uh, great tutorial where you don't even know if the end product is something that is acceptable. But I'm going to roll with it anyway. I'm going to be optimistic that this works. And um, I'll leave. I'll love you and leave you with the Hall of Mirrors because I've gone for 10 minutes. Okay, I thought I'd gone for longer. All right, well, take care, everyone, and I'll see you for the next video. And, um, yeah, just leave your comments down below. And, yes, that is a typo down there. Okay, I'm going to end the video. Okay, thanks for watching, everyone, and um, take care. Goodbye.